if you're feeling unmotivated or lost, um, you're most likely in a slump. So these are my tips for getting out of it. I just finished reading. I'm starting off this video getting some laundry done and taking a shower. One of my favorite things to motivate myself to get ready is showering. I don't know why, it just puts you in like a different mindset. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm getting out of a rut. I have been going through it for the past couple of weeks. Is my phone falling? It's that time of year where motivation is low, productivity is low, there's like I just don't really want to do anything. I need to fix this before it gets so deep and I cannot get out of the rut. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and how I get myself out of a rut when I am deeply in one. Number one, I am going to do some skincare because starting your day off productive is so important. I put on some cute pajamas and I am getting ready. I put some spot treatment on some lineage. I don't know if it's just me, but my motivation has been lacking so much. I just got the gel out of my hair from today because I had like two or three day old gel in my hair and my hair hated it. Um, but my scalp started to get super itchy, so we need to bring the moisture back to my hair. Um, if you guys are needing like hair masks, this Heritage one is super good. It's super moisturizing and like look at how thick it is. Like it's like a brick. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We're almost at 200 subscribers, which is crazy because I feel like I've been growing so fast on YouTube and I just feel super grateful for every single person who continues to comment. Like I remember all of you guys, like there's a couple of people that comment on almost all my videos and I just want to tell you guys like, I appreciate you and I see you and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying my videos. I've been getting like, oh, you look like Kiara from Outer Banks recently. I kind of do see it. Some pictures of her and some angles of myself, like I actually can see it and it's terrifying. She's super pretty though. So it's like the best compliment ever. And my hair used to be highlighted like hers. So we looked a little bit more alike, but now that my hair is like just dark brown, I feel like I look less like her. We're adding some Jehovah oil and this is amazing. Um, it's just super moisturizing for my hair and it's just, I don't know, it just keeps my hair really moisturized. Let's start by getting everything that doesn't belong in my room out of my room because that's just like a good start and I'm super overwhelmed with not really like the amount of mess but like where to start with it and that's always been like a struggle for mine so so I'm going to start with just getting the cups out of my room getting things that like don't belong in my room out. So I think this is my next plan of action. I'm going to take everything off. I'm going to clean it. Everybody, wish me luck. I really don't want to see this right now. I need to get out of this rut. I don't want to, but we're going to do it. I encourage you to find something that gets your mind off of things. To get my mind off things, I like to clean. So I'm cleaning my whole entire room. And yeah. Okay, guys, we're done with the desk part. Now it's time for the bed. To find things that you enjoy, I encourage you to get off of your phone. Okay, guys. So we are almost done cleaning my room, thank god. We have one more section left in my room to do and that is a lot of drawers. And it should be pretty easy, I just have to wipe everything out. Being productive does not have to be permanent. Right now I'm doing this voiceover in bed and it's 11 o'clock and I could be doing anything else. But I'm just recording and being lazy and that's okay. You're allowed to have time like that. One of the main reasons why I get into ruts is because I stop doing things that I'm supposed to be doing and then I start to get just like so overwhelmed with the fact that I'm not doing it and then I'm not doing it even more so everything gets worse. One of those things for me is schoolwork. I'm gonna walk in today and I'm going to study for some things, finish up some homework and just feel a little bit more productive because I have been so out of it. School has been like my big like no motivation. One of my favorite ways to get work done is to set a timer and just do it. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I just finished reading for an hour and 
it is time for something else. So the lighting is gonna be a little bit different because I have a filter on um, this camera. Let's go do the laundry. It is currently 4.34. Oh, I don't like doing things like later in the day. This is your sign that any time is a good time to be productive. I would work all morning, so I haven't had time to have like a morning routine. So I do my productive things usually later in the day now. I'm putting on the hoodie that I just washed because it's so warm and I'm so cold. On Spotify, there's so many different like instrumentals to play and having that in the background of your like day-to-day -day tasks make your life feel more put together and you're kind of just romanticizing the little things that you usually would not have the most fun doing i don't know if it's because i'm a music lover and i'm just biased but music is medicine the biggest tip i have for you is to play music that makes you happy play music that makes you feel excited makes you feel pretty and just dance around have fun for watching if you like this video like and subscribe i hope this video gave you motivation and inspiration to get out of your slump i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very soon bye